What's going on everyone? My name is Skiz. Welcome to another episode of our Graffiti Freight Train Watching series where we take a look at all of the great artwork, the awesome graffiti on these beautiful moving art galleries, if you will, that are really on display for anyone who is smart enough to take a look at them. And so it's a good thing you guys are all here doing exactly that because we've got a killer little line today to take a look at. And we'll get right into it. Starting off big, we've got a awesome whole car here. So this is a 2015. Uh, we got Tark. Nice simple open tag there. And you know what, as I get into it here, I'll tell you a little bit more about what we aim to do in this series a little bit. We get to A, take a look at just what's going on in graffiti communities across the continent, really, which is really, really nice. Oh, cool. I believe we saw that particular freight in a past episode. That's interesting. But it's great to be able to see, you know, the tags, the throws, the pieces of all ages there. More than a decade old in some cases like we're seeing there. And just seeing what's going on in these graffiti communities. And a lot of times learning from it as well. One of the things I always say is I really encourage everyone to come out and take a look at pieces and, and just, you know, what's going on out here because you can learn a ton from it no matter what level of graffiti artist you are yourself. Got a gorgeous little x-ray piece there. I personally am a big fan of really vibrant color pieces on freight specifically because it gives you that extra uh, bit of visibility that often you're looking to get, which is sort of hard to achieve sometimes on these freights. But x-ray's done a great job of that. 2021 very recent yeah that's really great to see and that's actually one of the things i wanted to talk about today is how you can you know learn from the different stuff you see on these freights without biting of course because you don't want to be biting but almost every time i come out to an awesome line of freights like this i see something that i haven't seen before whether it's just a technique of sorts uh that i haven't that I haven't seen done before i really try and pay attention to how the lines were done in pieces things like that just really get in and look at the details because that alone i'm always looking to improve my technique personally more so than say my conceptual knowledge although that as well Don't worry, in subsequent episodes, we'll head through there as well. But yeah, it's always it's always great to take a look at how the pieces were made. You know, as graffiti writers, we all generally know the steps, the initial lines of a piece, the fill in, the background, and the outline, or some, in some cases, the outline and the background, depending on who you are. We have seen this one before. So I'm just gonna pass it quickly here. that hero and runel piece but that's one of the i guess i'll break it down into types of things you can look at look at these pieces a the technique there's always something to be learned in technique especially because technique is really something that varies between writers gorgeous comms tag there Looks like you probably use either a chisel tip or a square tip. I really love the sort of square tips you can get. They're not very common, but they're nice. We got Rogue One getting up. <laughs> you go are experiencing one of the problems we've all had before. You just run out of a color. Uh, it's the worst, but it happens. Don't worry about it, you go. Beautiful hand style there. We got a Bonds piece from uh, Bonzo. His uh, his full tag, 2020, yeah. 
Obviously, Bonzo has been in our episodes before, and he's always got these gray color schemes. He's got a super, super high value blue here, which works real well with the, the black outline. Something that he's done here that I just want to point out is the white outline around the letters here. That really, really separates the piece from the pink background there. And that alone is something that really makes that piece stand out. It's just little things like that that you can see by coming out here. Getting to know this freight scene a little bit, you can pick up these little techniques. I know that's something very simple that uh, is only news to some younger writers, but it's all that kind of stuff, you know. And with all that being said, I'll have more to say about some of this stuff than others. I like to give you guys a bit of a balance of both because some people, when I've asked on the channel in the past, some people have said, yeah, we really enjoy the commentary, then others sort of said they like the more montage-y stuff that I've done. Shout out to Beast. I was able to talk to Beast a little bit on Instagram. That to me was awesome. Just cause he's been, uh, growing up I saw a lot of his work. So uh, it was great just to have a little chat with him very, very briefly, but still great. Awesome phone throwy here. Love that. That is a prime example of how to do a hollow right there. Like a hollow throw. Yeah, he nailed it. Phone is a great little uh, throw to work with because the H and the N, very similar tops, make it easy to round it off with the P and the O, finishing with the E. So it really does maintain that sort of symmetry and balance within the piece, or throw rather. And just the second thing I mentioned, or was about to mention, about ways you can sort of learn from this kind of stuff is, one, of course, the technique. And the second is, of course, is almost something I pointed out with that Bonzo piece back there, is conceptual stuff. You can learn everything. I believe you can learn everything you need to know conceptually. Just from taking a look at the tags, the throws, the pieces here on these freights. Even with things as simple as this little BART tag, it outlines directional flow very, very well. And even to someone who's a new writer who doesn't know anything about any of this stuff, they'll be able to come in and see, oh, that slanty sort of look looks very nice and uniform. Next episode, we're gonna swing around, take a look at everything going on. But if you are looking to see lots more, this is one of many episodes here on the channel of our Graffiti Freight Train watching series. It's one of the longest standing series on the channel. I'll link you to the entire season two playlist on screen right now. It's definitely worth checking out. You'll see artists from all over. If you saw anyone you knew here, shout them out in the comments because we love to celebrate all things graph here on the channel. So I'd really recommend you check out some of the other episodes as well as some of the other series here on the channel. If you want your very own tags, throws, and beasts shirt, scroll down a little bit, you'll see where you can get them. Until the next one, peace.